What's going on guys? Brenton here back with another video. Today, believe it or not, your boy got a modern bunny pen. Like, what the heck? Okay. Oh. 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 <laughs> that one hurt. A legit modern bunny pen to match the modern, the modern, and the other modern things I got. Ow! Oh! oh. My hand! The other modern things I got in my room. The hard part is, we gotta put this thing together. You like my dog socks? Yep, I know. Everyone seems to love them. No. Oh god. I'm pretty handy when it comes to stuff like this, but I'm also really lazy because I'm a teenager. Oh, there's so much more. Oh, to the barn! Why are there two of those? Oh, that's nice. A board with nothing on it. What am I making? Another one? Oh god, another one? Oh. What the heck is this? Oh my god. That right there? You see that? Yeah, that's cake. That's easy. I can do this. Oh god. Uh... Um... Okay, I think I'm figuring it out. Okay, just kind of like a mid update. This is pretty easy. So yes, Stella, Stella's a house bunny, okay? We're going to litter train her. The reason why we can't right now, or we could start, but the reason why she's not just running around the house right now is because our house is getting remodeled. So we don't want her to get hurt or anything like that. But that'll be done in a few weeks, and when that's done, she'll be all around the house, but she should be litter trained. She just sleeps in this outside. Now, before you say it, I know it's dangerous because cats can get this open. Foxes could break through it. Well, because cats can actually kind of open up stuff like this, I kind of pull it and open it. I'm gonna have a lock on everything. But she's gonna sleep in this, like on the porch. I think this is where this is gonna be. If not, kind of over by the duck pen. But during the day, she's gonna be inside in the house. Get what I'm putting down, kind of, maybe. But this is two stories and it's not gonna lie. It's pretty dope. And it's all for you, my little lady, all for you. Oh yeah. So if I don't want the bunny to come upstairs, I can drop that down when I'm cleaning this or whatever. But this normally will stay up. She can come up here and there'll be Timothy Hay all through this thing right here. I'll have some other food and maybe a water dish back here. And then she can obviously go up and down, but we can open this down here and we'll, I messed up. I messed up pretty bad because I put this on backwards. That's not good. But like I was saying, this slides out so I can always clean this, which is really nice. These both open up. So this side opens up so I can get into there. Then I can close that side and open up this side to get into here. And then keep them both closed, I put this little notch in the middle. So yeah, I definitely I put that on I put that on backwards. So that's, uh, that's not good. I've got to figure out how to take that off. So let's try to do that. As you guys can see, the bunny cage isn't in my room anymore. All right, look at this. I know, super sick. Before you guys say anything, um, I know a bunch of y'all are gonna be commenting, you know, you can't leave her out here. She can jump out of that, you know, cause Stella can legitimately jump out of this if she wanted to. It would, it would be pretty hard. It, it would definitely be pretty hard, but it's totally possible. So we're only gonna let her into this yard, you could say, when we're out here with her. But like when I'm feeding the fish or I'm feeding the ducks, I can let Stella out. She can come out in here. We can have another water bottle that kind of hangs on the side that she can also drink out of in this little area. But this is where she's gonna sleep. And then a lot of the day, she's also gonna spend time with us inside the house. But super sick, I like it a lot. Like I said, we don't want cats and stuff to be able to get in here. So we're gonna like use locks and stuff like that to go on the bunny cage. That way things can't be left open. But say one of these doors is left open, this is kind of like a second guard. That way, you know, she can't get out. But I think it's definitely an upgrade for her for sure. And I'm gonna get a plug-in fan for inside here that I'm gonna plug in that's always gonna be blowing on her. And uh, so it keeps her nice and cool. So that's definitely that's definitely awesome. And then during the winter, of course, we might even take this back inside or keep it on the porch so she has a heat lamp in here so she doesn't, you know, get freezing cold. Cause it gets kind of cold in Texas. But I've got a little bag of Timothy hay. We're gonna open the lid and we've got, I took the divider out of here. There was kind of like a divider in this area. She doesn't need that, that's really pointless, especially because she's a little chubby she's a she's a chunky bunny so we're gonna put this timothy hay up in the top this could be used for food and stuff like that but i'm gonna have the food and water bowl i think i'm actually gonna have them on the first story but all this timothy hay and everything can go right in 
here because she loves this Timothy egg. She'll just kind of snuggle up in it. She has been, been laid. No, not the term. Hayed. She's been hayed. You know, like in Hawaii when they put the little lays thing, like the, no, not, we're not going, okay. We'll go get her food and water. She's so cute. All right, here she is. Stella, you have been laid. Oh, I'm just kidding. Look at that, honey. Yeah, dope, right? I'm interested to see if she can kind of figure her way out and down, so I'm gonna close this. Hey, it's okay, honey. I'm gonna put you in the new cage. There you go. There's her tent. Yeah, I mean, she, I feel like she's thriving. Yeah, that's that. I mean, it's pretty simple. We gotta go get her a clip-on fan, though, to go in there, so she, of course, has, you know, some cool air, and I'm gonna kind of put it close to the water dish so it keeps the water cool. And she's about to go upstairs. Oh, she just went, oh, she almost did. Okay, and that's that. Okay, pause the video right here, just like real quick. I'm moving the bunny cage back inside into my room. I'm just gonna put a bottom on it, just like I have in the one right now, because I kind of prematurely put it out here. I have a Holland Lot bunny, and I know those bunnies are a little bit harder to kind of cool themselves off. I can bring the bunny cage out here during like the fall and spring, but it's too hot out here right now for her in the summer, because Holland Lot bunnies, you really shouldn't keep them out in any over 80 degrees where they can get like a legitimate heat stroke so in the next video i'm gonna deck that thing out out of bottom build all that stuff and put it inside we're still gonna have the exercise pen out here but i can't keep her outside because i don't want stella to get a heat stroke but during the fall when it gets a little bit colder out this is definitely gonna be the bunny setup for sure okay so i'm picking the camera i'm picking the camera back actually that's really good yeah do that i'm picking the camera back up at chris's house i'm gonna give you all a little bit of an update of what's going on here because there's there's kind of a lot of stuff going on for starters the uh the glow tank is looking so Super dope. The betta fish is absolutely thriving. This betta fish is really cool. And I like how there's a kind of a tint in this water. Yeah, but no, the leaf is kind of tinting this tank, which looks really cool. And then here's the black water tank. Can't really see in the black water tank because it's black water. But no, I love this tank. This is probably one of the coolest tanks by far. Really dope scape. Everything is really healthy in it. And there's some, oh, there's a betta fish right there. The 100 gallon that I surprised Chris with. If you guys didn't see that, that was a, that was a dope video. But do you, you know how I have this tank on my front porch? Yeah. How good do you think this would look in your living room? What? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, dude? We're gonna put it in your living room. As long as you want it in your living room. Like, yeah. No, the whole thing, the aquifer core background, the filter, the filter media, heaters, air fans, and or actually water fans in here that move the water around. All we gotta do is clean this thing out and set it up. It's like a hundred gallon tank. Yeah. This is like yeah. a thousand dollar setup. Oh yeah, no, this is, I bought the setup for 300. The aqua decor background is around 300. The filter, everything, it, it's pretty, it's a pretty nice tank. We've got heaters, we've got filters, we've got a big light bar, we've got everything. Dude, that's pretty amazing. Oh, we, could, we could stain it or whatever you want to do to it. Dude, we'll put it in just like it is right now, for now. You want to do it? Yeah, of course. Are All right, there we go. Got you a tank. Dude. That is amazing. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that is awesome. We're setting up a tank today. That's awesome. You called me and you it was such a big surprise and you bring out a bucket of goldfish and I'm thinking you got three dollars worth of goldfish and you're surprising me with that. <laughs> well, hey. But yeah. No. This that, is. That definitely worked. That's <laughs> that's it. But yeah, all the fish in here are thriving. And the pond that we built is looking amazing. The video actually of us building this pond right here just hit 100K the other day. Super sick, we had a lot of fun doing this and this is Chris's first pond. And I think we're gonna stock it with some new fish pretty soon. So you guys gotta go to his channel, which is the link in the description, don't go check that out. But I'll catch you guys back home. With that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys enjoyed my channel, click the subscribe button down below. Follow me on Instagram at fanatic.media. Follow my ducks on Instagram. Their link will be in the description. Chris is back home, so we've got a lot of work that we got to do today that's not involving of YouTube, kind of more of just like business related stuff and all that, which is always a blast. So if you guys have any videos, ideas, or suggestions, comment them down below. A lot of these videos are based off of y'all's ideas, so I'd love to keep hearing them. And if you guys want to send me some fan mail, I've got a PO box. It's one of the top links in the description. So Send me some fan mail. I absolutely love to open that stuff. And if you guys want it shown on camera, I'll try and show it on camera. So with all that being said, I will catch you guys next time on the next episode of Fanatic. Peace.